Today I have a project that's gonna require some surgery on my car, but I think it's going to be absolutely worth it. My friends at Hepa King sent me a full set of Alpine speaker upgrades for my car that are hopefully going to boost this thing to the next level as far as sound quality. Let's take a look at what I have in this particular kit and I'll show you every step along the way and I'll give you a feedback from my resident audio expert on how well they work. This particular kit from Hepa King comes with eight different speakers for the car. We have two speakers for the door. We have three speakers for the up in front of the dash by the windshield. We've got these two small tweeters that go also in the door and we have a big subwoofer replacement. Now what makes this a really unique kit is that Hepa King has actually 3D printed all of the adapters that you need in order to hook them up perfectly with your Tesla Model Y. They also make a kit for the Tesla Model 3 as well. Let's take a quick look at all the components. First off, let's take a look at these Alpine speakers. These are DP653 speakers from Alpine, and they are not a paper cone. They have a carbon fiber woven cone. And let me just tell you, these magnets on all of these speakers are substantial. It also comes with all the hardware that you need. We have some foam tape. We have a hookup for the car, for the subwoofer. We have a pry tool. And what you're gonna see is that getting to those speakers up by the windshield is going to be really tough. And they know that, and they actually sent this nice little tool in order for you to get up there and get those speakers in and out and the necessary hardware. This and a T25 wrench should be all that we need in order to do this entire thing. So let's just jump into it. I'm excited to get this done. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna kick off this process by replacing this speaker down here and this speaker here, and then we're gonna repeat the process on the other side before we go and tackle the dash and the subwoofer. And in order to do that, we have to get this door panel off. And to do that, there are three screws that you have to remove. One is located right here, another one is under the door here, and the last one is underneath this reflector, which we have to pop off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Just like that, it comes off. These are the three screws, and the next thing that we need to do is we need to basically pop off the door. In order to do that, there are some clips on the bottom, and it's actually held on by the top of the door. So we're gonna get our pry tool down here, and we're gonna start prying this door off. All right, you know you've got them all ready to go when it's just kind of hanging loose, and it's actually supported by the top top door frame here. We also need to remove this particular speaker here and that just also pops off. Next let's disconnect this speaker. Just gonna get in here and we're just gonna kinda pry it out. Just like that. Set that to the side. Here's our little tweeter we're gonna replace. From here the door should just lift off. And it does. Okay, it comes off. Here's our speaker that we need to get access to. You can see that we've got some connections to the car. I really don't want to disconnect these, so I'm just going to kind of try and prop the door off to the side here. All right, let's unbolt this speaker. Use the same T25. And there are four screws here. The bottom right bolt is actually a I'm gonna see in a, about a 5 16 or whatever that is in metric. Take that off. And we'll just disconnect the cable here. And speaker comes out. Now before we put this new mid-range into the car, let's just appreciate the differences between the speakers. You can see that the new Alpine speaker is actually a little bit smaller than the factory, but it all comes down to the paper cone, the carbon fiber cone, and what's going on on the back. Take a look at the differences between this magnet 
and this magnet. Now it's the magnet that actually causes the diaphragm to move and actually produce the sound. And these things are substantially different weights. So let me weigh these here on the scale real quick. We have 500 grams for the factory unit. We have 1,446 grams for the replacement unit. This is speaker is three times heavier than the factory unit. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. Now these 3D printed adapters are perfect fit for the Tesla. So it's just reversing the process and putting this back together. Last step is just hooking up the connector and the connector that comes already pre-wired is a perfect match for the new speaker. Okay, before we put the door panel back on, let's get this tweeter done and then we can button up this side and then swing over the other side and get that done too. Here's our tweeter that we gotta get out and here is our new tweeter that we need to put in. And getting this out should be just a matter of just giving it a little bit of a flex and having it pop out just like that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this new tweeter is actually a little bit smaller in diameter. That's where this foam tape is going to come in handy. We're gonna wrap the edge and it's gonna serve a dual purpose. It's gonna allow this tweeter to really fit in this space, but it is also going to dampen the sound vibrations coming off the speaker to the plastic to make sure we don't have any rattling sounds. So let's just go ahead and wrap this a couple of times. Just like that. And now let's go ahead and see if we can pop this guy in there. Yeah, fits in pretty nice. Make sure we get all of the clips fully around the speaker. Now this is ready to go into the car, but first let's put on that door panel. Let's get this door panel put back on. Make sure that your tweeter cable, which is attached to the door, is still sticking out. Just kind of get it in that top lip. Get it so all these pins line up. Now we can replace our screws. Pop our reflector back on. Note there is an up here. Next, let's get this put back together. First, go ahead and plug in our cable like that. And you'll see that we've got two clips here that mount to these two clips. And there's also a hook here that we want to make sure that we latch on to. All right, the left door is 100% done. Two of the eight speakers are installed. My next step is to go repeat the process on the other side. I'm not gonna show you that because the process is exactly the same. I'll check back in when we're ready to install the speakers up by the windshield. Passenger door is all done. So the next step is to get the three speakers that are up here under this grill taken care of. And in order to do that, we're gonna to have to do a little surgery, which requires removing this pillar cover here and as well as this cover here so we can get access to those three speakers. So how do we do that? Well, the first step is, is we're gonna to need to get a pry tool in here. We're gonna to need to pop this off. So let's get that done. Before we can do that, we gotta pull off this little panel here. That should just come off like that. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Get our pry tool, we're gonna to try and wedge it in here, just like that. We're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of a twist. Just like that. Like that. Dangle here, and be careful, this is your airbag for your curtain airbag, so we don't want to disturb that. So we have to repeat the process on the other side before we can start removing this, which is just held in with some clips. So check back in when that's done. Okay, let's get this open. Just pops off. So we got the dash torn apart and we're ready to replace those speakers. And you can see that we have three speakers up there by the windshield. There is the left, the center, and the right. And those speakers are held in with three bolts that we need to remove. And those are really tricky to get to. And HEPA King did us a favor by giving us a tool that we can actually get in there and get that done, which has a little bit of a stubby um, 
wrench on there and there's one particular screw in there in general that I've been told is really pesky and really tight. So the next step is to just pull those speakers out and get us ready to install the new speakers in place of that. So just be a matter of unbolting them and bolting the new ones in. But before we'll do that, we'll compare the two speakers. All three of the dash speakers are now out and you can take a look at what the speaker is. And I want you to take note of how small this magnet is on the back and I'll compare that to what we're going to be putting in its place. This is what we are replacing with this and take a look at the size of that particular magnet. And let's go ahead and weigh these on the scale. Factory speaker weighs 150 grams and the new Alpine speaker weighs 429 grams, substantially heavier than the original. And let's go ahead and put these in. It's just a matter of utilizing the same lineup holes and the same screws, and then we'll be done. Center speaker is installed. Just need to put in the screws, and this is that dreaded screw location here that you definitely need to use that special tool for. We'll get started by just the front speakers are all in now and all we got to do is just put the car back together. So it's just in reverse order by snapping on the front grill and then putting the side pillar covers back on and then the side cover there. And then all we have left to do is install the subwoofer, which um, is going to all be done in the back of the car. Seven of the eight speakers are installed and all we have left is the subwoofer. And in, in order to do that, I'm not exactly sure how much surgery is gonna be needed, but from what I can tell, getting into that subwoofer, which is underneath this compartment right over here, is only gonna require this, which is a pry tool. So there's a couple steps along the way in order to allow us to gain access to that subwoofer to see what we're dealing with. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get this outside trim pulled off. I want to do this to expose this particular cover, which we are going to remove. Comes off just like that. Looks like I need to do some cleaning. Next piece you want to take out is this. Just a bunch of clips and that just pulls out. Next thing we need to do, we need to remove this well here and there's just some pop rivets here we got to remove. There. Just one it looks like and then this whole thing just pulls right out. We need to take off this pop rivet. What we want to do here is we want to basically separate this lower section and we want to try and keep this upper section intact and it's just a matter of getting in here. Try to keep that upper section connected. Okay, here is our subwoofer and our subwoofer box. And I've seen some installations where they actually remove the amp and take the entire box out. But as I'm looking at this, I don't know that I need to do that. I think I can get it all in there by just removing the speaker itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that out before taking the time to remove the entire box. Now let's take a look at the difference between the factory subwoofer and the new Alpine subwoofer. From the front, they look somewhat similar, but on the business end, take a look at the difference in the magnet on the Alpine speaker and the little dinky magnet on this. It's amazing that the Tesla sound system sounds as good as it does, but the magnet on the little speakers up in the windshield are actually significantly larger than the subwoofer. Just what are the size differences between these two things? Let's just weigh them out like we did on the other ones. And our factory speaker here weighs in at 889 grams. And our new Alpine speaker 
weighs in at 2,926. So again, th more than three times the original speaker, and this should be able to provide a lot more oomph to our sound in the bass region. Now, before we can mount the subwoofer in the car, we need to get this 3D printed bezel installed on the speaker. And so let's just go ahead and get that done now. The 3D printed adapting piece has a top and a bottom. And you notice the top has the two holes and the bottom has the one hole. So we need to orient this. We're gonna have to screw this to the back of the speaker and it might be difficult to see because we're gonna add foam to this. So I'm gonna go ahead on the speaker edges where the speaker holes are, I'm going to mark with a marker where those are aligned, which will make it a little easier for us to see what's going on. Next step is to wrap both the surface in which the speaker we mounted to and the back surface with that foam material. So I ended up taking the subwoofer out because I was having trouble fitting the speaker into the subwoofer and it turns out I actually had the bezel on backwards so we need to get that fixed. Now that we have the subwoofer out, let's take advantage of that and see if this fits a little bit better this time and amazing, it does. Go ahead and put the original screws back in. All right, let's see what we can do to get the subwoofer put back in. All right, before we button things up, here is what everything looks like with the amp and the subwoofer. You can see the subwoofer just barely fits in there, um, but we are all good to go. Now it's just a matter of putting things back in reverse order and getting the panels and everything put back. So we will wrap things up and do that now. Last we want to get this put back on. Okay, now we need to determine if these speakers sound any better than the factory. And I am not an expert in determining whether sound is good or not. So I have my son here who is a recent college graduate with a <laughs> music education yep, major yep. and is also a musician and composer. And we're going to play some of his music here for the first time and get a reaction on whether or not this sound system sounds any good. So here mm -hmm. we go. What is your expert opinion on the upgrade of the sound? No, it's it's like night and day. It like I, I find it really really difficult to capture like like quality headphones sound like that entire like the range of frequencies getting all those low frequencies. It, it, it's all encompassing. It's like so like 
nearly overwhelming with how much sound it can create. But yeah. with that sound, there's so much clarity. All right, cool. Yeah. You heard it from an expert. This is a definite upgrade to this car. And if this is something you're looking to do, I will leave a link in the description below where you can pick up a set of your own. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscriptions are always welcome. And ring the bell. <laughs> ring the bell. I, I'm too old to say that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.